नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते एवरीवन सो वी हैव बीन डूइंग एक्सरसाइज वन एंड वी आर प्रैक्टिसिंग स्टेप वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन एंड विद दैट वी हैव टेकन दिस असाइनमेंट इन एक्सरसाइज वन द सेल्फ इज ऑब्जर्विंग द सेल्फ दैट इज आई एम ऑब्जर्विंग माय सेल्फ दैट इज कॉन्शियसनेस इज ऑब्जर्विंग द कॉन्शियसनेस सो इन स्टेप वन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज वन we are trying to see the imagination as it is without reacting to it without evaluating it without imposing something from outside just as it is as a pure observer now if we are not able to see the complete imagination then we can start by looking at the object of imagination and we can see the thought with that object we can see the feeling with that object and then we can see the complete imagination in our imagination we have desire thought and expectation the desire is the feeling part the thought is analyzing and comparing part and the expectation is the selecting and testing part the purpose behind the whole effort is to ensure that happiness becomes my innate nature and i do not have to look outside for happiness to get some favorable feeling from others or to get some favorable sensation from the body because i want happiness in continuity and for that i need to awaken to the higher level activities of contemplation understanding and realization now contemplation essentially means transformation in my feeling so at the level of desire i have the activities of imaging and contemplation presently it may be the case that contemplation is not awakened so i am not able to ensure the naturally acceptable feeling in me so we are trying to first of all observe the feeling as it is and then we we'll work to transform it now this is step 1 of exercise 1 which is very important though it is simple but very important important because all my happiness or unhappiness is associated with this and simple because i have to look within only i do not have to do any extraneous any hard any uh, thing outside i just have to observe myself i have to observe my feelings the feelings are there in me but the problem is that when we go to observe the feeling and we do not have the practice for it then we get obstructed due to multiple factors something which we started discussing the problem that we are sharing in observing the feeling uh, are only few there could be even more for example trying to look at the feeling through sensation or not able to see the feeling at all so all those issues may be there which we have been discussing so the assignment that we took yesterday was at any time convenient to you in any body posture which is convenient and comfortable for you observe your imagination particularly the feeling in the imagination for about half an hour observe it as it is without trying to judge it evaluate it stop it or change it just observe without any sort of reaction so we can take reflections about the assignment that we took yesterday yesterday i sat for observing my imagination and i concern i focused on the object of imagination and in the beginning i directly saw the feeling and afterwards it was associated with the object of imagination uh, like i was reminded of my duty in the terrace garden in the terrace garden <clears throat> due to summer i have stopped work now i devote every day one to two hours in in my terrace garden and now at present only seven to eight fruit trees i mean plants are there nothing more i have not done anything else so i was reminded about it and i saw that i selected and this this object and there was a feeling 
that yes i have i am not doing and i will do it soon because when the monsoon comes then then uh, i will do it so in the beginning i had uh, i was observing without any uh, attempt to change it or evaluate it or modify it or anything no nothing only as a as a observer only so after that i i came to know that in the thought i am how i will do i will take help of some labor i cannot do all these things uh, so i i was thinking about that and then i went for the steps the first that is yes, it is naturally acceptable to me and then i went for the second one yes i am comfortable i am in relationship with those laborers and my family members and with um, that then um, i try to see the harmony and coexistence and then i follow the other steps and uh, that's how i understood this and uh, i want your comment on this that whether i am going right in the section or not thank you thank you very much yes we are nice nice we can see that your effort is on to observe the imagination to observe the feeling while doing any chore in the household or doing any kind of task you are trying to observe it that is very nice to see you are trying to take a note of the object of imagination and also the feeling associated with it yes nice way so carry it on and yeah, you yeah. can also note it in your journal and let me say that when you are saying that i am able to observe the feeling then just try to make out whether you are able to observe the feeling or you are able to taste the feeling whether you are feeling uncomfortable or comfortable so try to see the feeling associated with <clears throat> the task for example when you are looking at the plants on the terrace then what is the feeling within you try to make the make out the feeling so my only question is that yeah so whether the i have to see the selecting testing uh, analyzing comparing then imaging and contemplation or i should only concentrate on the steps as the exercise one uh, leave it so for that... time being leave it for time being okay. if you are not able so... to do it and uh, in such detail then leave it for time being the core is to observe the feeling once you are able yeah, to yeah. the feeling as it is then maybe you are also able to see how your imagination has thought associated with that feeling how it has expectation associated with that feeling but presently if you are not able to do it then you can just proceed by observing the feeling and try to observe it every moment and then we'll proceed further maybe as you go further you will able to uh, also find out how the analysis was taking place how the comparing was taking place i took one or two examples yesterday also to illustrate but i do not want it to become just a kind of uh, uh, academic analysis uh, some kind of academic uh, study we have to be little more observant of the feeling inside so for time being you can proceed with that if you are able to see all the activities there very nice if not then just observe the <clears throat> feeling part and then proceed because ultimately you are going to evaluate the feeling in steps 2 and 3 mm -hmm. yes yes okay thank you very much thank you nice bhaiya bhaiya namaste namaste sabhi ko Uh, so bhaiya actually when i uh, i didn't get much time to observe uh, but yes yesterday i did uh, some uh, to uh, for some time and i saw that it was uh, my uh, object of imagination was me only because i could see certain uh, transformation which is coming up which i was thinking is a very herculean task and it would take a very long time for me to do uh, say for example you know when Uh, i see around uh, like lot of disturbances as i have mentioned also when i see in the news and all it disturbed me a lot 
Uh, but then uh, when I'm slowly coming on into uh, this uh, exercise, when I'm delving into this exercise, I, f I feel that there are a lot of transformation that is I'm not uh, getting disturbed. I'm not getting very agitated. And uh, uh, my uh, I consciously feel that my uh, work towards the larger order is about uh, not uh, about changing people, about changing the environment as such, but to find myself in a position where I can contribute more to the uh, society maybe towards nature and human beings so with that uh, uh, like i did some um, uh, you know i did uh, i did some uh, work towards uh, my uh, the maid uh, who is uh, actually it's a very uh, trivial thing but uh, she is uh, she was in trouble and uh, there were few things at her house so i could uh, uh, go to her and I could just pacify and uh, give her certain, um, you know, uh, some facilities so that she was comfortable. And that way I saw, but I earlier had it, uh, the case was the more I was uh, doing into this, I was very much agitated. But now I could see that I'm uh, in little, I'm in harmony. I'm not getting agitated, but I'm trying to do the right thing at the right time. And uh, very rightly, as you mentioned, uh, like uh, two days back, that is, I should write in a journal. But yeah, this is also one of the observations. The day more I have work around, so I'm more, uh, you know, uh, in disharmony. Disharmony in the sense that I feel that this is to be done, this is to be done. I'm, I cannot observe myself more into that. Uh, my object of imagination goes from different uh, uh, things to different uh, attributes that I'm trying to do. So this is what I felt by yeah, yesterday when I really uh, had some time in the evening to just, uh, you know, think about this Nice, Didi. So, whether it is right way? or something wrong. Yeah, nice, Didi. So, as you shared, you could observe that whether you were comfortable inside or not, like being agitated or not being agitated, and your conduct also with the other person. And I'll say that at a more subtle level, you can also observe the feeling. So, not getting agitated is a good achievement. Earlier, we get, achieve, uh, we get agitated and now with some transformation or some uh, observation, we are able to come out of that agitation. Uh -huh. But at the core is some feeling. So that feeling has to be observed. So a nice development that you shared, but you can add something more to it. You can observe it with some more fineness and observe the feeling part. And when you are noting down in the journal, so you note your current state, the change that has taken place, but at the same time, try to see with some subtlety the feeling that you had at that point of time. So that will right. help you transform better. Right, Bhaiya, right. Actually, uh, what uh, like <laughs> I don't get much time or maybe I'm not trying to uh, do it, whatever it can be, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, yes, of course, as you very rightly said, I'll work more on that. Thank you so much, Naya. Nice, Didi. There are no more hands raised. What we can do, we can go to the content part now. In step one, we have split into two parts, one A and one B. So in one A, we are saying that try and observe your imagination. Try and observe the desire, thought and expectation in your imagination. And the outcome could be, I am observing the self by the self. I'm observing my imagination, my desire that is feeling, thought and expectation at this moment. So the exercise that has to be done is to observe the imagination going on within you at this moment of time, just as it is, without evaluating it, without reacting to it, without trying to stop it, without trying to change it, or something like this, without trying to impose something from outside, without targeting a particular object of attention. So just observe as it is. And let it just get unfolded inside me. A common problem is that we try to impose something or uh, in our imagination or we try to fix some targets that by this time I should be able to do this. By this time I should be able to achieve this. And that becomes a kind of hindrance in our observation. So we have to be natural. We have some conditioning of fixing things from within, that with this, of, this much of effort, this much of results should come. Or my state should not be so bad or so good. So we start judging our current state. 
sometimes you are not able to accept the current state so you just try to come out of it and that is also a reaction so just observe as it is and accept as it is yes that is fine this is my current state the moment i start rejecting it i also start reacting to it so and the moment i start reacting to it i do not remain as a pure observer i get engrossed with my thought because i am not struggling with my imagination the objective is not to struggle with your imagination but observe it very naturally very simply right whatever it is i mean i say that do not label it whether it is good or bad or it is opposition or relationship even do not label it just be as you are and observe as you are and gradually you will see you start becoming natural because many times you know we are not able to let the natural self come out even we are not able to observe our natural self and we keep on reacting inside we keep on reacting outside we keep on labeling things inside we keep on labeling things outside passing judgments inside passing judgments outside isn't it and that hinders our development because if i am not able to see my current state how will i further evaluate it and transform it and that's a very common practice common kind of conditioning because we have set some targets in our life we also may be setting targets that by this time i should develop this much isn't it and then we are mostly working at the level of expectation trying to test something with some effort right but if you enter into that process of observation as a pure observer then these things do not remain important we just observe the imagination as it is we just observe the feeling as it is and since you have some natural acceptance within you it will uh, take on you know further the development that has to take place within you so that kind of thing is already there in you it is innate to you so just be as you are and observe as you are you have to somewhat let it get loose you know we try to tighten things inside try to hold up on something right so just try to you know loosen all these things uh, try to loosen all these conditionings these you know, impositions these restriction within us and just be as you are and observe as you are so if you are able to observe the whole imagination as it is well and good if you are not able to see your imagination directly then you may begin with observing your thought if you are able to see your thoughts try to see the desire the feeling behind it and ultimately we have to see the complete imagination so while we are discussing the issue this is also a common issue that we are not able to observe the complete imagination we are not able to observe the feeling so start by observing the thought and then you can look into the purpose whatever thought you have you ask the question why to yourself you know and then you get the purpose and the purpose is associated with the feeling whether it is acceptable to you naturally or not so try to observe your desire thought and expectation going on in your imagination in particular focus on your feeling part so this is a very simple but very important step right and it will also somewhat uh, question a lot of conditioning inside you so so it is simple it may start appearing difficult to you also at times because when your conditioning get challenged you know, then you become somewhat restless or anxious but this is doable and this is doable and once you are able to accomplish this step naturally then the development further will naturally follow so this is what we are trying to do so what we'll do we'll sit for 5 minutes you know, and trying to observe the feeling as it is so as we mentioned that do not try to condition yourself do not try to judge yourself or fix some targets within right or say something as good or bad label it something right just be as you are and observe as you are as a pure observer and this will be taken care of this will also assure you that if i 
go by my natural acceptance right things will take care naturally so presently we are not evaluating it just observing and let us see what happens next let us not fix anything let us just observe so we will observe for 5 minutes and then we will proceed further with the discussion bhaiya yesterday also and now also um, i am observing my feeling from tomorrow i will be on europe tour for 15 days so uh, my object of attention is whether i can attend this morning session as usual for two hours so will the internet be available in the hotels or not so it is there but i am not getting craving or my vacuum nahi ho raha i am observing that it is the routine now if i can it will be there so i am not analyzing but the my in my object of attention from yesterday it is there so but yeah, i wanted to share that that's it so so it can also be called as na the feeling or imagination everything all the time going on what is the question ji ji nahi what is the question question is from tomorrow i will be unable miss yes, since yes, i am on the maya voice aa rahi hai can you hear me properly ha i can hear you but there is some echo acha ji no 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 is it clear now better than earlier yes is it clear now ha now it is much better ha ha so from tomorrow morning miss today evening i am starting for the europe tour for around 15 days so my object of attention from yesterday is whether i will be uh, miss attending i can attend this due to the internet problem or something um, the morning sessions but i am not getting disturbed or means there is no craving or me vacuum nahi ho raha hu ki if it is okay i can attend if not i will uh, summarize or i will get it from others after coming so is it the clear object of attention <laughs> so you tell me yeah so your object of attention Hey, yes mujhe lag raha tha ki you will be answering like this so i think uh, i am not uh, analyzing i am just uh, t- uh, observing my thoughts or feeling isn't it bhaiya uh try to look deeper because what you share does not clearly reflect whether you are able to observe the feeling there is a feeling and i associated hmm. with the program that you are trying to make ji so you observe the feeling when you are going abroad you have yeah. the feeling when you are thinking about attending the morning session and so many things ji yeah. right so try to observe the feeling with every object of imagination ji yeah. ji so my son is saying that papa now you enjoy only tour and don't think about the uhv but but I, it is not with me i i am thinking both means the tour should be there and if possible uhv also should be continued for 15 days that's yeah, it you tell him that you enjoy the uhv better then <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah. that is my object there thank you bhaiya thanks a lot for this thing. thank you nice. namaste sabhi ji yeah we can go to the next slide so this is something that we had mentioned it is simple but very important so simple because imagination is going on continuously and you have the capacity to observe within yourself you just have to decide for it important because happiness and unhappiness at this moment depends on my feeling the thought at this moment depends on the imagination at this moment g next slide bhaiya so there could be some problems while observing the feeling like one problem is the attention goes outside something that we deliberated upon so when the attention goes outside it's not uh, like you do not feel disturbed about it you just take a note of it so we pay attention to things which we consider a higher priority so when you are able to see that essentially the feeling is going to decide your happiness you know 
it's not the object outside so then you can become more serious about observing the feeling so just keep observing whenever whatever your attention is you know, and just try to observe it at is as it is <coughs> even it is <coughs> on something outside so keep with your decision to observe imagination when your attention returns to imagination keep observing it ji namaste bhaiya ha i came to my village and uh, i went at my uh, farm uh, again i visited one junior college also uh, uh, i am keeping observing to myself and i uh, share my thoughts with the uh, uh, with the uh, that principal also sir uh, how you are handling to your students and uh, suvidha uh, samman suvidha aur uh, 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 i i just uh, discuss them samman suvidha samman ke bare mein so uh, he is also agree with this uh, with a one hour discussion was there and he agree that uh, they need the uhv cell also uh, that was the one of the part uh, regarding the activity or participation in the uhv and i seen the in the uh, in my farm that is the uh, nature how uh, it is uh, the helping to us these are the two observations uh, i want to share with you bhaiya ji bhaiya yeah. so nice bhaiya but the point is to observe the feeling what is shared is something related to outside whether you are observing the nature or whether the course is going to be implemented you know with the person that you talked about but uh, presently we have to observe our feeling so that is good development that is good but i would say that at the core you have to be little more observant more sharp in observing the feeling ji ji i mean what you shared is fine but presently we have to focus on the feeling part जी भैया जी भैया जी भैया जी जी नमस्ते भैया थैंक यू भैया नाइस ऑब्जर्विंग थ्रू दी बॉडी कुड बी अनदर काइंड ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दैट माइट बी फेसिंग सो आई एम सीइंग द सेल्फ डायरेक्टली i am seeing the imagination going on in the self directly <clears throat> not through sensation so we are generally used to observe the world outside using the five senses so we may even try to see the self also through the five senses we may try to see the shape or color of something like that so we pay attention to whatever we consider important so this is something that we had discussed yesterday i hope we are able to come out of this we are not having this kind of problem you can just share in the chat box that are you still facing the problem or you are able to come out of this you can respond in the chat box are you trying to observe through the body trying to look at cells as something as a physiochemical with some color you know or some features which we observe about the physiochemical things or we are able to see that no it is the cell that i am observing so it will not have that kind of attributes that kind of features that we observe for physiochemical things so it is not something to be observed through the sense organs right it is something to be seen directly so we can see the cell as a unit different from the body directly right presently we are trying to observe the activity inside the body inside the cell but if this kind of uh, assumption we are still carrying that i can observe it as i observe a physiochemical entity and then that has to be questioned so keep observing even this that you are trying to see the shape or color of the cell or not ultimately you have to see the imagination going on in the cell if your attention goes to something do not react just keep with your decision your attention will naturally come back to your imagination so when your attention returns to your imagination keep observing it sometimes i unable to take the decision in that problem case i give the choice uh, 
to give the god to the problem uh, is it uh, to i unable to take the decision at that time i approach uh, i reached the god or temple to take the decision at that time even the match also put that fine uh, head or tail in that way i am also going to that area even though attacked the uh i am unable to take the decision in proper time in correct way how to solve this issue yeah so first of all you have to make out your priority <clears throat> so when you are trying to take a decision what is the purpose what is the priority so we are trying to compare various options but if the priority is not clear whether it is physical facility or relations or right understanding and we are trying to take a decision we may not take or we may keep on you know like uh, fluctuating with our decisions and then we have to go for something outside to decide so what we are saying here if you are clear about the feeling and if you are able to transform the feeling then the decisions may come naturally if i am able to see that ultimately i want the feeling of relationship and not opposition essentially i want prosperity and not accumulation essentially i want health and not sensual pleasures if i am able to see this very clearly then i can decide i can make out my needs correctly i can distinguish between the needs of the body and needs of the self i can see the feelings in the relationship once i am able to contemplate on the naturally acceptable feelings so the decision becomes very natural otherwise i have to work so hard because the priority is not clear we opt for something then withdraw we opt for something else then again withdraw for example you have to select clothes and you have to go to a party you open your box select one piece of cloth and then look at it and then you are not aware of the feeling maybe you are trying to get some favorable feeling from others through the cloth then you pick one and then you drop it you want to pick another one you drop it right and you may doing this exercise for half an hour why the decision making has become so difficult because the priority is not clear the understanding is not there if i am trying to fetch happiness from outside through some favorable feeling from others the choice for physical facility can never be universal can never be right uh, the basic guideline can never be universal the choice may not be definite and we may keep on fluctuating with the choices so that kind of problem may be there try to observe it here okay i will try thank you no for the last three days i came to some uh conclusion that my my way of approach to be like how to observe my imagination enter imagination and uh, the second step is how to accept the state in which i am right now then how to take necessary program to improve my uh, state to uh, definite state this one i came to conclusion and i i want to on uh, clarity on not very clear no what did you come to conclude on am i audible now ha huh, audible yes sir uh, the step has to be like uh, first of all i have to observe my imagination that is very important step then i have to accept where i am and uh, my current state this is second important step then with the feeling of responsibility i have to take necessary programs to improve my current state to the uh, maybe uh, the three stages realization authentication and contemplation this one i came to conclusion uh, maybe uh, i have to i have to check on this one and one doubt uh, one clarity i want from you is like uh, i could able to see relationship and opposition and the prosperity and accumulation and i want a practical example for this coexistence and uh, struggle maybe from your experience or any any example which one may be considered as coexistence and which one may be considered as struggle uh, so presently if you see we are conditioned to assume life as a struggle nature as a struggle 
okay the organizations as a struggle and we are always struggling we are even struggling with the body we are struggling in our thoughts we are struggling in our relationship we are struggling with the people in the society we are struggling with the peer group with the subordinates with the superiors in the organization right so we are struggling all the time why is that happening maybe wrong right. evaluation wrong evaluation yeah. yeah and why that wrong evaluation is happening no uh, lack of understanding yeah and what is that lack of understanding maybe uh, a, a loyal self be, be to black only in operation yeah so essentially you see that we are not assured of our existence so when you try to question you ask why multiple times to yourself why am i in this situation you know why this why that right so at some point of time you'll see that we are not assured of the existence that it was there it is there it is going to be there i am also going to be there as a conscious unit so what we are saying that unless i realize the whole existence as coexistence i will always have some kind of struggle within me going on right we are not able to come out of that struggle because the assurance about coexistence is not there since i have not been able to realize the coexistence so i may have apprehension doubts fears and we may have uh, we may be struggling with those doubts and fears at a very subtle level it is happening even now but you are not able to observe this because we are looking things at a very gross level right so for example maybe you are struggling in some relationships you are able to observe only the altercations or the you know words that i spoken the behavior but you are not able to observe why at all this is happening because i am not able to see the relationship of self and self i am not able to see the submergence of myself and the other self in space i am not able to see that way i am very much related to the other through the space so that fineness that completeness of observation is not there so presently when we start observing we take note of outwardly things isn't it then we are able to see the thought then we are able to see the feeling but at the core we remain unassured unless we are able to observe the whole existence as coexistence if you try to make out your fears your doubts your confusions and contradictions in you and you try to observe each and every bit and piece of it you see that somewhat it is based on wrong assumptions about the coexistence that's how it is very important Yes, yes, yeah, maybe. But uh, still, now I didn't know. I I didn't able to see this coexistence. I I really don't. That is don't fine. Know. That is fine. See, that is the completeness of right understanding. So to begin with, do not see. In fact, what we are mentioning right now that we set targets that I have to see the coexistence. I have to see the harmony. And in that process, what we are trying, we are hindering our natural observation. Sure. We are hindering our self exploration. Yes, because we are setting some targets, no. that this much should be there or this should be there with this effort right so yes. if you start doing like that your observation as a pure observer get somewhat retarded you are not able even to observe your current state you know you are trying to imagine something within yourself right that this is the completion and largely you are working at the level of expectation then you are trying to taste something either within yourself or outside in place of observing you are trying to taste so whether i am to try i am trying to taste something or whether i am observing the things as they are this is one very important step one very important issue also one more thing yeah one more thing bhai uh, maybe last week uh, i was into uh, like more time i spent on this observation like uh, um, morning meditation and evening meditation also is observation uh, the day night like uh, while sleeping i uh, i don't know like i don't know whether i'm sleeping or not i could able to see this uh, dreams which are going on and uh, i got disturbed <laughs> like whether i'm sleeping or not i don't know i just seeing all the most of the time my dreams is it over yeah fine see dreams are largely either unfulfilled desires or our fears 
yes 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 you know so we might be having so many desires which are still unfulfilled so we dream about it or we what may you, have what is the purpose of this dreams bhaiya you have any idea on this why we are having this see the purpose is that you want to have happiness in continuity and that is not a sure so what will you do we'll have some concerns we'll have some aspirations concerns will lead to fears aspirations would you know be there because they are unfulfilled so by by having dream i am fulfilling it Or by having dream i am trying to fulfill it in dream yes Or, yes oh. one example that we keep on mentioning no like there was one tele serial which was uh, broadcast 30 years back mugeri lal ke hasin sapne it was there in hindi so it to show that there is a peon in a office and this person sitting on his chair will start day dreaming so whatever he observes outside will start dreaming within himself through some articulation so if he observes a doctor he will become a doctor within oneself right and start dreaming as a doctor that he has become very successful and very you know kind of expert doctor and he conducts uh, surgery this way or that way sometimes he becomes a scientist right and starts talking about various mysteries in science and starts you know sharing his thoughts about it so like that yes so so this kind of state may be common to everyone so without Because, understanding it will never stop it will keep on continuing yes without now with understanding what will happen our dreams will get transformed so okay. there will be plans and programs for implementation for okay. universal human yeah. order so in place of dreaming now we'll also be continuing to think because the thought is continuous desire is continuous but that will now now be in line with the human goal we'll having the plans and programs for implementation and we'll thinking on those lines in place very of nice. dreaming very nice okay 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 bhaiya thank you bhaiya nice bhaiya prabhat bhaiya has raised hand but let me go to the next side then i'll take up the question so this is another problem the third is like feeling is not clear if you are not able to observe the feeling but you can observe your thoughts then for time being keep observing your thoughts and then you can deduce the feeling from the thought so if i have thought of competing then it means that some opposition is there inside me if i have thought of nurturing the other then it means that i have some affection some feeling of care inside me i am saying some because it may not be complete because it may not be as a result of contemplation but since i have natural acceptance for affection and care so it keeps on reflecting inside me similarly when i do not understand relationship i have opposition right so i may keep on getting opposition so try to observe it try to observe it and i'll say that uh without setting any fixed targets try to to be natural and just observe the feeling and then just try to see the process the way you keep on developing okay keep it open it's not that i have to develop this much by this time but the more you become the more you loosen these targets the more you become observant of the feeling of your current state nice next bhaiya my imagination seems to be going on only sometimes not all the time so keep checking to see if the imagination is going on only sometimes or if it is going on all the time but you are able to observe only sometimes so many people have shared that it appears completely blank okay and there is nothing inside no imagination no thought no feeling so that is because we are used to you know uh do something outside right and we are all the time trying to look at outcomes outside we are trying to get happiness from outside so when we try to look inside so we are not able to observe whatever is going on inside another problem could be like we try to associate ourselves with the body right so when we try to look inside so we get some sensation from the body also and we get engrossed with it so many things might happen keep keep it open and observe yourself that if you feel that there is nothing going on inside then what is happening you'll see that you may also uh, feel like this for some time that 
there is no thought no imagination right and after some time you are able to recollect that you were thinking about something so it means the thought was there but you were not aware so here again the solution would be just to keep observing when i try to observe my imagination i get a headache or sometimes i feel sleepy why is that this is also a common kind of problem that has been shared by the participants so if you are trying to force yourself to observe your imagination you may feel heaviness because basically you are reacting isn't it many times when you try to observe you can see maybe you are also trying to shrink your eyes or or clench your fists <laughs> and try to observe very forcefully that i have to observe at this moment that will not help you have to be relaxed so further if you are getting headache this is likely to be because of the fact that you are trying to see your imagination through eyes as per the past conditioning and you are trying to focus your eyes in order to see that is causing headache <clears throat> on the other hand when you are not finding the imagination to be important that is not leading to happiness you may lose track of your focus and then drift into sleep that is also possible so what you need to do is to take the decision to be aware and to observe just observe no forcing and if attention gets drifted let it be no reaction do not try to use your eyes to see the imagination it is not needed at all and be aware every moment if you lose awareness just notice and then get back to awareness without any reaction <coughs> any questions so he he had raised hand i think he has lowered his hand ji prabhat ji भैया गुड मॉर्निंग एक्चुअली आई गॉट द आंसर इन योर ओके ओके नाइस नाइस सो सो व्हेन आई आई गेट क्लियर आई वांट टू शेयर वन लिटिल बिट थिंग इस्टरडे आई शेयर्ड समथिंग विथ यू बट यू गाइडेड मी टू फर्स्ट सी द थॉट देन थॉट विल ड्राइव मी टुवर्ड्स इमेजिनेशन एंड देन अ पोजीशन और अ अ केयरिंग फीलिंग and then uh, uh, sometimes uh, feel good sometimes feel bad and uh, one thing i want to tell you so suppose in some relations i feel a position my imagination drive myself towards the reaction and i try to uh, try to uh, um, uh, change it should i do it or should i leave it as it is observe it in place of you know trying to change it trying to leave it trying to avoid it just observe it uh, you have told already that you have told already that thank you bhaiya thank you clarity is there thank you very much so nice so nice bhaiya so if you are getting this kind of uh, problem that you are getting a headache or sometimes feeling sleepy so just be clear that you are trying to observe your imagination and that is very important for you and there is no need to impose something upon you right no need to make some kind of tough decision inside you it is not try it is not an effort to be tough but rather to be natural so no need to make any such effort and you may feel sleepy at times that is fine because it so happen that uh the body is also tired at times and maybe we are uh, utilizing the brain too much right so when we try to observe the feeling the brain gets some rest when the brain gets rest then also you start feeling sleepy so you may start dozing right to begin with and you'll see that uh, those moments of dozing will relax your body also a lot so just let it be just let it be observe it you know ultimately when you are able to see the priority of your observation for right understanding you become more and more observant you become more and more subtle in your observation so no need of forcing right no need for reaction 
just be natural. So when you say the imagination goes elsewhere, where does it go? You paid attention. Sorry, you said that imagination is there all the time. So what do you mean when you say get back? Get back from where? So two different things are going on inside you. One is the imagination that is going on continuously in the B2 block. And the second is the observation of this imagination from the B1 block. So when you temporarily stop observing from B1, you lose your awareness. That is when you feel that your imagination is not going on. For example, your imagination is like a flowing stream of thoughts or desires. So when you are observing this imagination as if standing by the side of the stream, you are clearly able to see it observation from b1 but when you jump into the stream and start flowing with the imagination you're no longer able to observe it clearly sometimes you may not even observe anything that is also possible we'll discuss this possibility tomorrow you know because this kind of problem may be there so we'll try to discuss it tomorrow so you may make a note of all the problems that you are facing while observing they may be even something different from what you are sharing here. They are your own problems. That may some that is something subjective. That may vary from person to person. Okay. So when you try to observe, note on all the problems that you are facing. And try to see how the steps suggested here are helping you out. If not, then bring out those issues that you are facing and we'll try to address them. This is a process of co-exploration, isn't it? We'll try to address them. Nice. So having shared this much, we now conclude the session in English.